This is a story about a very poor couple, a husband and wife. They were so poor that they owned only two spoons. They had one spoon for the husband and one spoon for the wife. But their neighbor, who lived just a short way down the road, was a rich man. His house was big and elegant. It was filled with beautiful furniture. The rich man was very proud of all his money and all his possessions and his extravagant way of living. Well, one year the poor couple had the good fortune to have a baby. And the woman said to her husband, Maybe we should ask our neighbor to be godfather to our new baby. The man said, oh no, he's so rich and we're so poor. Why would that man want to be our compadre? But his wife said, you don't know, maybe he will accept. So the poor man went down the road and asked the rich man to be godfather to their baby. And to his surprise, the rich man did accept. So they took the baby to the church and they baptized it. And in that way, the neighbors became compadres. And one day the woman said to her husband, you know, now that he is our compadre, we should invite our neighbor to join us for dinner. The man said, we can't do that. We only have two spoons. So they didn't invite the rich man that day. But they started to save money, one penny at a time, until finally they could afford to buy a third spoon. And then the poor man went down the road and invited the rich man to come for dinner. And the poor woman got busy. She cooked up a delicious soup. When the two men arrived at the house, she led the rich man to the place with a shiny new spoon. She said, this is where you sit, compadre. You get to use our new third spoon. The rich man could hardly believe what he was hearing. He said, what? Do you mean to tell me that you own only three spoons? The poor man said, yes. In fact, up until this morning, we only had two spoons, but we bought a third one so that you could join us for dinner. When the rich man heard that, he could not keep from laughing. He said, oh, 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 oh no, you had two spoons and then you bought a third one so that I could come for dinner. Do you know what? I own so many spoons, I could use a different spoon each day of the year if I wanted to. The poor man was a little bit angry, a little bit embarrassed by his rich compadre bragging like that. But the poor woman spoke right up and she said, that's nothing, compadre. We have a friend who uses a different spoon for every bite he eats. The rich man didn't believe that. He shook his head and waved his hand at her. But the poor man knew what his wife was talking about. He said, ah, that's true. Our friend uses a different spoon for every bite he eats. He never takes two bites with the same spoon. The rich man was so upset by the idea that maybe someone was living even more extravagantly than he was, he could not enjoy his meal. That night, he couldn't fall asleep just thinking about it. And then the next morning, the rich man's servant came running down to the poor people's house. He said to the poor man, what did you give my master to eat for supper last night? The poor man said, he ate the same thing we did. It was the most delicious soup my wife has ever made. 
the servant said, Well, I think your soup must have driven him crazy. This morning at breakfast, he insisted on having a different spoon for every bite he ate. He would only take one bite with a spoon, and then he told me to get rid of it. The poor man smiled to himself. That's just the sort of thing he expected from the rich man. He said to the servant, What did your master tell you to do with the spoons you're supposed to get rid of? The servant said, I asked him what to do, and he said, Give them to my compadres. They only have three spoons. And sure enough, Later that morning, the servant came back and left a pile of spoons beside the poor people's house. And then at noontime that day, the same thing happened. The rich man had to have a different spoon for every bite he ate. And at dinner that evening, it happened again. At the end of one week, the servant told the rich man there were no spoons left in the house. The rich man said, well, go buy me some more. Do you think I'm too poor to buy spoons? The servant went to the town and bought all the spoons in town. Then he had to travel to other towns to buy spoons. The rich man started selling his horses and his cattle and his land just to get money to buy spoons with. A mountain of spoons was growing beside the poor people's house. At the end of a year, the rich man had squandered his entire fortune on spoons, and there were only three spoons left in his house. That morning, he went storming down to the poor people's house. He knocked on the door. He said, you lied to me. No one can use a different spoon for every bite he eats. I have proved it. I was the richest man for miles around. Not even I could do that. The poor woman said, you're mistaken, compadre. Our friend really does that. And the poor man added, it's true. Day in and day out, Year in and year out, he uses a different spoon for every bite he eats. The rich man said, you'd better show me this friend of yours. So the poor people took the rich man to the nearby Indian pueblo. The Indian man and his wife met them at the door he invited them to come inside so that they could all have a meal for themselves. The rich man said to the Indian, That's exactly what I came here for. I want to see you use a different spoon for every bite you eat. And the Indian man said, Spoon? That's the only spoon I ever use. He pointed at a stack of tortillas on the table. He picked up a tortilla. He tore a piece from it. He scooped up some beans with the piece of tortilla. And then the beans and the spoon disappeared into his mouth. The poor man said, see, he'll never use that spoon again. Once again, the rich man was so upset he couldn't enjoy his meal. He got up from the table and he walked home sadly. But the poor people enjoyed every bite they ate with their friends, spoon and all. And then they walked back home smiling because they knew when they had sold that mountain of spoons the rich man had thrown away, they would live the rest of their lives in comfort. But do you think they became stingy and mean when they got all that money? No, they didn't. They continued to be kind and generous. You should go visit them.
They don't know you, but that doesn't matter. If you go visit them, they will invite you into their house. They will give you a meal to eat. Do you know what else they'll give you? They'll give you a spoon for every 